For real. Let's talk about, uh, like, like you said before, uh, getting that real paper. Of course, you've done the movie thing and, and you've done the television thing. Is the, how, how lucrative monetarily was that? And, and is that the way that you represent cats? You, you want cats to go? Do you, do you recommend that? As far as making paper? Or is it a flash in a pan? Do you, do you think that that maybe did you more disservice than it helped you? I don't know, as far as being perceived as a movie, TV guy, you know fun it, it, guy. It, 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 first of all, my personality has never been on that, you know, I can't smile, I can't laugh anyway. Um, you know, I, I tell niggas in a minute, I ain't no thug, nigga. I ain't no gangster, man, straight up, man. But I will clap my shit, though, when the heat is on. And I don't, I mean, you know, if that's being a gangster, then that's what it is. But I'm more of a kind of guy that's like, yo, I'll let you know I mean business, but we have fun. You know, it, it's what I tell people when they ask me, yo, what, what's a couple of things should I know before I come out with a record? I said, before you come out with a record, if you're trying to come in the game, be yourself, man. If you know you that dude that can have fun, go out after it because it opened more doors for you, you know. Don't nobody want no tight asshole that's always like this or shit. Because bottom line, don't nobody, don't got to fuck with you. You got to sell yourself. You got to sell your personality. You got to let motherfuckers feel your warmth. Like, yeah, I can talk to this man. Or I can talk business with this man. And give off a presence, give off a presence like to another nigga. Like, oh, he funny, but he will whoop my motherfucking ass. You know what I mean? So... That's that's what you should do. Get your paper any way you can, man. Be yourself. Okay? All right. Well, let me ask you this. Hey, let, let's do this. Van, we got Van Styles over here with UndergroundHipHop.com. Uh, let me, uh, Redman. Now I know you're, you're very quick with it. You're on you're on your feet. Uh, if if this motherfucker did something like this, what would you say to that? Would you you have a rhyme for that? Or would I don't you, know. Uh, Only thing I could think of the forty year old virgin when he. <laughs> He had to get his shit ripped off and shit, man. He might need that and shit, man. That's a little miss too much skin next to me, too, man. He might have to put that shirt back on and shit. <laughs> That's too much hair and chest out for me, man, you know. Well, it's all good. I thought this was underground. Now, this is what the underground's about now. <laughs> that ain't my part of the underground segment. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know, but yeah, but the Blackout 2 Red and Meth is coming out and shit. This year, How High 2 coming out next year. We're gonna work it, man. Talk about real quick. I ain't gonna lie, I can't fuck <laughs> with you with your chest all like that, man. Straight up, huh? I don't be doing that crazy shit. Straight up, you're gonna have to put your shirt on, homeboy. And that's what it is, I mean, underground. You tatted it a little bit of, you know, like, <laughs> Shit. Yeah, sir. Undergroundhiphop.com. Understand, Red Man has his morals. Hey, man, listen. A nigga can't yeah. even wear his feet out around me. I don't <laughs> even play like you can't even wear flip flops, nigga. I kicked my daddy out my car, goddamn it, because he had his feet in my goddamn car out. I ain't gonna lie, me and him argued for a week over that shit. Would you? Would you? Would you discuss or have an interview with a man who had his shirt off? No, no. Hell no. And that's what it is. UndergroundHipHop.com. Got Red Man, Daylight in the House, Rock the Bells. Yes, sir. Rock the Bells. You know what it is. You ain't Hogan. It ain't happening. <laughs>